And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 on the Black Shadow and we are here at the Greenwich Observatory, at the Greenwich Observatory, that's what I'm looking for. I like this place folks, this is actually, this is quite a cool level, I love the music, really cool. Looks like quite a eerie place as well. Uh, more zombies. D no, you can die, you game. What the? What the? Huh? What in God's name? Did did that? He just stole my head. I never thought I would say that on YouTube, but a bird just stole my head. What? the hell is up with that? What is going on, Winston? Lost your head, Dan. Yeah, well noticed. Body using L1 plus triangle. If you find your head, L1 plus triangle will put it back on. You're telling I can view my head? What the hell? That's my head! Give me that back! I can even first person it a bit. What in... Wow. That... Well... Wow! <laughs> Well, I can't stand for this. I'm sorry, folks. We are getting Dan's head back. That is... That's not right! He doesn't have a head! They can still go? I don't get that. Weird how they... Ex weird. This is no sound the folks are, like, exploding. Strange, that. They do hurt a lot, though. Do watch out for that. They are pretty... Pretty painful enemies, I must be said. Well, here's the observatory. Hmm, we may have to flip back to the other views. Try we gotta get a head back, folks. I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. There it is up there. No. What the hell? Was that magic? F was that magic shit? Pardon the language, but what? My God! Well, the bird's dead, but I still got to get up there and try and get my head. Ah, there we go. Now right, we'll have a. Are we? Are we gonna kill it? Apparently, we will. I've looked around. There's something going Glad on. Glad you can, because I can't. But the entrance is barred. Perhaps you can find another way of getting in. Go and see what's across the river. Hmm, some girl on the observatory. Well, we're gonna have to go and inspect that, folks, but first I want my head. Thank you. What's that? What is that? Head snatcher? I don't know, but can I hear more birds? I hope I can't, but I think I can. That is just... Yeah, very strange concept, that, folks. You can have your head stolen from you. There you go. Anyways, moving swiftly on. Well, I suppose you got a head down here. It said there might be some going on the observatory. It's um, like the observatory, observatory, not the observatory every area. So I had to have a look around and yeah, we might as well. Yeah, just die. To the docks.
which means there's bound to be loads of water, which is not so good. But hopefully it'll be fine. Wait, are these like these are like zombie sailors, aren't they? Kind of strange, if you ask me. the hell is that? What the hell is that? Is that like a super zombie? Well actually, it sort of is folks, it sort of is like a super zombie really. A lot stronger, a lot faster, very dangerous. That he's got that sort of octopus head thing on it. Problem is you'll find when you do that is you've then got to still kill the head. Because it will just go straight back on. Which is a bit annoying. God damn it. So you'll keep taking out the sailor in order to um in order to keep getting cracks shots at this sort of octopus head thing. Yeah, not easy to shoot because it's so small moving around a lot. You can't really shoot it much, so don't really bother with that. So a bit, a bit more of a look around. Yeah, you can go around. Yeah, you see, you can you can hit those bodies and actually get rid of them and ca before something tries to possess them. It's not eat, which you know, it's not the worst of ideas because of that. No, not again, not again! Oh god. Now this is bad. This is really bad, because you can see that um that thing there sort of um you know taking taking on the zombies here. Be really careful here because this thing can do the same to you. It can jump on your head and it will start taking life from you very bad. Very, very bad. Now, if you would kindly go... No, go to hell. Where the hell's my head? Oh, man, where the... where am I? God only knows. Ow. Yeah, you see? Not good, folks. No! I'm just going to bash this to hell. And a bit of timing. No, oh, that didn't get me! Bloody thing. Oh, there's the spiv. Oh, we can go get some stuff here. We could do it buying some stuff, why not? I mean, mine's not doing much else at the moment. Hmm. Now we can go over here. Ah, there's our chalice over there. Ooh, life bottle! That's not a bad find, is it, folks? Now, I think perhaps first we need to do, perhaps we should go try get get um get our skull back. Sounds like a bad idea. Now, if I remember correctly, is it, like, back on us? Oh, of course, I can't do a view because, of course, you know, I don't have my head. But I think... Yeah, here we are. It's like... It's like evil seagulls. That's not bad. I mean, you can get some bloody revenge on them. Is that, that in the back? Is that... Well, I think that is actually Greenwich Observatory back there. Ow. That was a mistake. Right, well we need to try and find a way to lower this by the looks of it. Um, so all we can really do is come down here. Which is quite a dangerous place, mind you. Lots of zombie sailors and a fair share of... Um, of those uh, octopus head things. Fair share of them, so be careful. Right. 
So there it is again. But he can't do too much to us now. He's got no he ain't got he can't possess us, he can't possess any of these zombies around, so it's just a bit of a cat and mouse game now. Get back here. Ouch, that looked pretty painful. Ooh, I suppose he didn't try possessing this one. No, he ain't going to now. Let's have a little look down here. Oh, nope. a little hole in there. <laughs> right, we can't get up there at the moment, which is quite annoying. We've nearly got hold of the chalice, so we so nearly got it. We just can't. I don't know. It'd be very difficult to make a jump onto that. It's a tough jump. Some more money, though. No, we can't actually go any way further. Ah, I see. This all leads along. Can we? We couldn't, like, turn that, could we? No. I'm trying to cheat the game here. Right, so let's get a view so we can't do much with that. That's to get up there by the looks of things. Can we get into any of these ships? Perhaps get onto the ships? And we know we can get onto the sh ship. Oh, really? Oh, man. Let's try again. Right, we know we can get onto that ship. The question is, can we do much from there? Because it does require a little bit of thought, this one. Like, it's a bit of a puzzle. Well, at least it can seem that way. Now, did we, we didn't go in here, I don't think. No. Hmm. So, various levers and gauges here. Hmm. Is that a word of Winston here? Them birds pesky, aren't they? See if you can use your head to solve this puzzle. It should work like any other item in your inventory. Wait, do you mean literally use my head? Yeah, folks, you see this here? You can put your head inside it. You are oh, some puzzle in this game. You actually have to use your head. Literally. And now, if we now change our view we can view what the answer to the puzzle is. So, sort of, from 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 3, 3, 4, and 1. Is the way I'd look at that. So, we do that. 3, 3, 4, and 1. And that loads a bridge! Pretty cool, eh? Pretty damn cool. Yoink. It's just, it's, sorry, that's just a weird concept. Taking off your own head to solve a puzzle. The advantages Dan has over me and Mortals, eh? Well, anyways, we can now head over here. Start wandering up and down all these, um, these ships. So I suppose we can jump onto here next. And then what we can do is we can come here, we can jump onto this, activate our lever. That's pretty cool. But remember to come over here. Oh, of course we can't grab it yet. Ah, oh, we got 98%, don't we? Damn it. We'll be back for that in a second, don't you worry. The only question is what am I going to shoot first? Now, we do have to jump onto that first, and then use that to then get onto this uh, little bit here. Hurrah! Oh, you can all die. We can get our chalice now, which is good. Ow. Get back here! 
There we go. All done. Now we'll head here, we'll grab some treasure, because we can. And then we need to head back. Oh, damn it. Can we... No, we can't. Can we... I don't think we can jump on that from here. No, we got we got to go all the way around, really. No, I'm not sure we can. Nah, we got to go all the way around. Really, game? That's a bit of a dick move. Never mind. Obviously, Sony thought knew there was some kind of uh, reason for it. Um, I know there's loads of heads there. I'm just going to ignore them. I do love the music though, folks. It's like very eerie. Very atmospheric though, I do like it. Definitely fits with the um you know, the sort of the level, it's sort of mysterious in a way, and honestly rather strange. Right. Get over there. That's not an easy jump that. It's not as easy as you might think it is. Right, so nothing else here, is there? No, so we'll go into here. Oh, Winston's here. Come on, thank you. Once through this door, there's no going back, Dane. So you probably want to make sure that you got the chalice. Oh, there you go. Well, we've already got it, folks. So you could ignore Winston there, just like usual. <laughs> the Greenwich Naval Academy. There's a naval academy at Greenwich. First I've heard of it. Cannons? A hot air balloon? What the Alright Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Oh, only if you insist, Winston. Oh, did I just do that? Oh, I don't even have much health. Right. Now, you got to be careful here, because those cannons do shoot at you. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The cannons can friendly fire a bit. I'm a bit worried about the heads though. I am concerned with that. Right, we need to take out all these. We do need to take out all these. Come on. What the damage! Oh my god, we're nearly dead. Oh man, I can't fight him. I don't have the health. Oh, that's not gone well. Right. Hmm, right. This is going to have to be clever about this. Now, we can put our head in here. Down he goes. The reason for that is because if anything sort of come in here, as you can see, there's a uh, little item over there. So what we need to do is we need to go, go, no, obviously go and get hold of it because we can't dive in there and get it ourselves because, well, we, well, we'll die. And we will die because we have no health, so. Is there any health anywhere? I'd really appreciate it. Hmm, well, Winston's here anyways. If we could get the fire going, we might be able to use the balloon. Well noticed. There is a bird there. Oh god. I'm like one hit death now. I really am. There's gotta be some health around here. Somewhere. Oh, there's a spiv down there. But he's not a lot of use. And of course I can't view because I don't have a head. There's our cannon. Hmm. 
Oh, that's a heavenly sound. That is a heavenly sound. I've never been so happy to get a fountain rejuvenation in my life. Thank God. No, you are not taking my head. Bloody birds. Right now, this does need to die. Because as you can see, there's like a load of, um... Oh, like levers and such, basically. He's so careful. Even if I take them out, they can still get me, so... Yeah, gunshots can't hit them. But there's no reason these can't if they aren't moving. So... There you go. That's the way I deal with that. Right, now... If we go back to our head here, you can see... You might see at the bottom right there's a little bit of a shadow there. Basically, we need to sort of use these controls, which um, move these. We've got to get these right, so if we move it down a little bit... A little bit... Keep it moving. Perhaps one more time. Let's have a look see where we are. Pretty close. Pick one more along and one more across. Yeah. And then... No, because it's obviously a big massive magnet. We can use that. Yoink! We can go and grab... Whatever the hell those are. Or that is, I should say. It looks like a torch, but I can assure you it is not. We have some bellows. Now, those of you who know what bellows are know exactly where this is leading. But first, let's go get our head. Thank you. That's really strange, seeing him take putting his own head on. That's just sort of eerie, but kind of cool. But we now need to go up here. And we go on to... Well, you see the back of here. Sorry, um, you can see that this little outline. Yeah. Bellows are clever little invention, this. Basically allows you to, um, it's like, think of like a, like a tyre pumper. But like a, an early version of it, folks. And in fact, it's actually the same thing as uh, what you had from um, the first medieval. Except, nothing's working. So actually, what if we try... The torch here. I just noticed the fire there. Might be a bit of a clue here. Yeah, you see? Gotta light the fire. And then, there you go. And that lifts us away. That is really strange. It's those two again. Manda, is it ready? Yes. He sounds really British. The press of a button, the great scope will find all the pages of the spell book. Ah. Good. Start the machine. Start the machine. Sounds really, really British. That's cool. Soon it will all be mine. What the devil? No! <laughs> uh, hello. Don't mind if I drop in, do you? Do you know what you've ruined? Oh, we... Uh, deal with this wretch. Time to break some bones, dogman. Bones, bones, bones. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, little... Well, boss time here, folks. We've just trashed, uh... Well, it looks like Palethorn's, um, scope. So we need to take out, uh, Manda and Dogman here. Now, you got to be careful about this. Manda himself is actually pretty nifty, folks. He's pretty quick. I'll find one of them eventually. Yeah, you'll find generally Dogman will sort of um, sit um, in front of Manda here. So basically, we got to take care of um, Dogman first. He's pretty powerful. Uh, Manda as well, you'll notice, does... You know, he's, he's, he's a fiddly bloke. But you see now we've taken out um, uh, Dogman now. So now, you know, uh, Manda here enters Super Saiyan mode and we're nearly dead. Oh god, we might die. Oh, 
Whoa. I'm not playing games with him. We don't have the health for that. We've taken out those two. Alright then, let's go take out Pale... Oh, maybe not. But we're going to go take on Palefawn, you know, save the world. But uh, apparently we're too early in the game for that. Oh, that's right, so even a little machine there. I'm loving that, folks. The machines building up. That was a really cool. Ha -ha. All right, let's see what kind of prize we got for us today. Take this weapon. Ooh. It's better than it looks. I can tell you. Nice. We've got ourselves the uh, the double no the double sided axe. Again, just the same as back in uh, the old game. You can also throw it in an axe like a boomerang. You know, not a bad weapon. Not too shabby. We'll keep that with us. Alright, Professor, how's things looking? Fortescue, well done, my friend. You fought in Palethorn. Winston tells me about his fiendish scheme, and it's our first piece of good news. Yay! He all the pages of the spellbook, then he hasn't got full control of the undead. If we can get to them before he does, then we just might stand a chance of defeating him. Sorry, no time for chat. If you're ready, let's get this show on the road. No, no, you know, no, no, you're not going to give me any, um, you know, any health? That'd be really lovely. Ugh, never mind. Ah, I remember this level pretty well. Winston has traced Pair of Thorn. He's somewhere within Q. Who knows what you'll encounter when you're there? Well, look at the picture, folks, and you might get a, a little bit of an idea, folks. Uh, Q Gardens is next. I do like this level. Even if it is a bit long at times, but it's uh, it's a pretty good level. And then the one after that is pretty pretty good as well, but in a weird way. It's a really good level. Um, but anyways, folks, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be your lot for this video. Um, and actually, this is gonna be my lot for um, recording. You know, the last few videos I've done in um, one go, folks. Just so you know. Um, and then you know. I'll start again, I'll have a bit. Of, well, by this point, I've had I've already had you know a couple of days after I've fiddle around with um, recording, you know, the uh, you know, getting the videos as good as I can, but we'll see how I go, um, you know, with the last three, and I hope you've um, been, um, you know, let me know what you think of them, I hope, you know, as well as, you know, saying, oh, you're brilliant, Black Shadow, you're amazing, and all that sort of thing, but I'm not eager to score, don't worry. So anyways, folks, um, so yeah, so, um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll meet you in Kew Gardens. God damn it, I keep doing that! See you next time, folks.